Hey everyone, it's Sim here from the Fusing Shop. Uh, I wanted to do a uh, video on my ventilation system, but uh, I'll show you. In New Jersey here, it's been crazy, and we've had nothing but snow, snow, snow for like the past three weeks. Uh, so I could show you what it looks like on the inside. Um, and then we'll see if maybe we could uh, take a walk outside and see if we could see anything that's going on out there. So you'll remember from my smoke bond test that I have this giant pipe right here. Here we go. And someone said, um, you know, I see that you have a giant exhaust fan, but I actually don't see anything past the, uh, past the big tube that you have there. So if we go up and this right here, this black thing right here, this is actually my fan and it has a wire running down the side and it actually has a speed control. Whoops. Let me flip it around for you. And this is a Terra Bloom fan. Uh, this is a 10 inch fan with a 10 inch duct running to and from it. And I have it mounted on the wall with some toggle bolts which actually let me go grab some so I can show you what they look like. Okay, I misspoke. These are actually not, whoops. Am I recording in the right orientation here? Yeah, uh, I misspoke. I actually, these are not toggle bolts. These are sleeve anchors. There we go, see right on the box here. And these are great. I use these for like mounting everything to, uh, to the cinder block here. And pretty much the way they work is you uh, drill a hole, you hammer this into the hole, and you take off, hold on, I'm just gonna put the camera down here so I can show what this looks like. And you take off this, then you, you know, hammer this into the wall, you put your um, piece that you want around here, then you put your washer, oops, then you put your washer on and then you put the nut on and you start to tighten the nut and as you tighten these nuts the end of the anchor begins to open as you see here it begins to open and expand and this is happening in the wall which stops which gives you an amazing amount of uh, support And you just keep tightening it down. I use a ratchet to tighten these down. It makes it really quick and easy. And you can see how much that's like expanded so far. So that's how I have my fan mounted to the cinder block. And I use these, these uh, sleeve anchors for like mounting anything to cinder block. And they are very power, very strong. They have a good hold. And I have not had any problem with them. So you see also over here, I have them holding up my uh, my hanger here. Got one there and there's one down there and it's just holding up this hanger, which is super strong. Anyway, back to my ventilation. So um, this is an exhaust fan, which means it sucks air out rather than blows air in. So um, pretty much again, any vapors that come off the torch here will be sucked into the giant vent right here in the middle. And it goes up and out and let me see if we could see up there and it goes out the roof of my gar garage so I do have a couple photos from when I actually put this in but I didn't do a video on it so let's take a quick walk outside and we'll see what it looks like from that from that view if we can actually see what it looks like so again tons of snow okay gotta walk around And right over here is where the vent, where my uh, vent is put into the roof. So I actually did put this in myself. It was not hard to do. And when I was thinking on how to vent the system, I was thinking of doing it a few different ways from uh, just drilling a giant hole in the wall. I had like a 16 inch, Attic fan that I, attic exhaust fan that I was going to use, 
and I was gonna pretty much drill a giant hole like right here but I wasn't sure if that would like um, affect the integrity of the cinder block I'm not an engineer I don't know you know cutting a giant hole in this wall would uh, make it collapse or something I don't know if you know leave me a comment I'm always uh, interested in learning here are a few photos that I took when I was installing the fan. Here is a picture when I cut the hole in the roof. That's what it looked like when I had the vents to get the placement and the size right. This is the cap that I put on and it does go on. It goes underneath the shingles. And here's what the inside looked like before I put the top tube on and bent that 90 to meet up with the, um, with the cap. Um, so yeah, so then I just vented it. I have a 90 degree elbow right here going up into the tubing and then I just have another 90 it's a flexible 90 ah, so that I can bend it and that's connected to the flange that's on the outside and it's very easy just to cut the hole uh, in the roof and on the roof itself I did use uh, you know the the cover that we just showed and nails and the cement that you're supposed to do so everything is waterproof and I don't get a drop of water in here you can see that it's it is bone dry up there, all around. Uh, so about the fan itself now, let's talk about that for a minute. Pretty much, this is a 110, this is a 110 volt fan, and it tells you pretty much all the details right here, uh, except it's upside down. I forgot what size it is. I'm going to post what size it is in the video because right now I don't see that on there. And I do have um, the special uh, aluminum tape to seal it to make sure there's no leaks. And then I just went around it with duct tape because this is all that's holding this pipe onto this giant stack is that duct tape and that other tape. I did not put any screws into the fan or into any of the uh, metal piping. So that tape is all that's uh, holding it up. And actually it's doing a great job. It's been holding strong for, uh, for you know, like over a year now. And I don't see it moving anytime soon. Okay, so um, just something else that I, that I think is important is, um, so someone uh, called me up and said, you know, I don't hear your ventilation system in your videos. All I hear is your torch. And that is true. And for the simple reason that I do wear a lavalier microphone. So, and of course I sit very close to my torch right here. Um, and I just want to give you a, uh, a taste of what this sounds like. So again, it has a variable speed. So I could turn this on like halfway here like 50% or so and I don't know if you could hear it put it right here and I'll turn it up to a hundred percent which is usually usually where I run it so it is it is pretty loud when it's running at a hundred percent just giving you a taste of what it sounds like and the kind of noise you can expect when you put a ventilation system. Again, you want to have a strong enough... Oh, hold on, let me just put this on. You want to have a strong enough exhaust fan that it's going to pull all those vapors out of the air for you. And that's the whole point of doing it, is so you have a good system um, that makes sure that your lungs are safe, that you're safe, and then that you're not breathing in any of the, uh, the fume or the vapors or anything else that comes off the glass. So just make sure again you have a good strong fan. I'm going to post this fan in the comments uh, in the uh, description below. Um, and yeah, so this works. And of course, you have to do the smoke bomb test. See my video on the smoke bomb test. To make sure that your fan is adequate and definitely getting rid of every anything that may come into your workspace. So again, if you want to see how this works in action, see the smoke bomb video. I'll link it uh, in the description below. And I'll also, um, much more thought. I'll link in the description below. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email at urock, that's Y-O-U-R-O-C-K, at fusingshop.com, F-U-S-I-N-G, 
S H O P dot com. And I'm always happy to hear from you guys. And don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and give me any comments or any questions. I am very responsive. And thank you guys so much for uh, checking out the video. I appreciate you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next one.